Good morning, brethren. Today is June the 8th, uh, 2017. I want to start off by reminding you that um, if you have been following this channel, you know that the Lord had instructed me that when he has an important word for the body of Christ and the saints, that I am to wear my head covering. This is one of those times. This is so very, very detrimental to each of our walks in the body of Christ and for the saints. It is so very important that we each lend our ears to what the Holy Spirit is revealing. I have struggled to come forward uh, for the last two days. I have been in absolute prayer nonstop throughout the day. I have just been seeking the Lord and asking him what he wants me to reveal. I'm going to go over what is written. It is very important that during this time, especially this crucial time in prophecy, because of what, what is written and what it reveals to us, this period in the time that we are at in prophecy is so very, very crucial. If you lend your ears, please, to the entire message, you will understand why it is so very crucial. I want to start off by praying. Heavenly Father, I summon you. I summon you, Lord, and I ask that you please cover this message in your Son's blood, Yahushua HaMashiach. And I ask that you pour the Holy Spirit over this message, Lord, and that it is delivered to the ears that it is that this is delivered to the ears of those who seek the truth seek your truth your written truth lord we ask this in your son's name yahushua hamashiach amen okay so i'm going to get started i have um it's very short please please follow along please stick with me this is very very, very crucial. I cannot begin to express it. Again, it is why I am wearing my head covering. It is so very important for you to understand this, for you to receive this message and absolutely hear the words that are coming out of my mouth because this is all written. In Matthew 24, it is entitled, The Unfaithful Servant. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is the servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord kept giving me that some of his servants are drinking from the same cup of indignation. I tell you this. I tell you this with my sons, my personal sons at stake. I'm telling you, he kept telling me this last night. They are drinking from the same cup of indignation. The Lord of the servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of and shall cut him. Excuse me, I have to adjust my glasses and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I'm going to interject right here. I love every single one of you. It does not matter if you have misspoken or misrepresented the truth. I love every single one of my brothers in the body of Christ and in the saints, anybody I come in contact with, I truly try to touch. 
There are things that I cannot share that the Lord has shown me. But I tell you this with all of my heart. And the Lord knows this. He is my witness. He knows that I pray for all of us. The second verse that he wants me to read from. I'm going to take off my glasses. I can't seem to see my pages here. It is in 1 Timothy chapter 4. The title of it is called Predictions of Apostasy. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and knoweth the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. The last verse he wants me to read from. 2 Timothy chapter 4. It is entitled, The Charge to Preach. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all longsuffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned to fables but watch thou in all things endure afflictions do the work of the evangelist make full proof of thy ministry when I tell you that the Lord was showing me and giving me these words of they are drinking from the cup of indignation. At this point in time, I'm going to plead with you. Please, crucify the flesh. We should only be seeking discernment from directly from the Lord. What happens is, if some of us continue following the flesh for answers and not seeking the truth directly in what is written you will stumble and if you're not already drinking from that cup of indignation it's quite possibly possible that you can fall into that follow the Lord our God only Yes, we are here in the body of Christ to guide you. But please, test every single spirit and make sure that it is indeed doctrine, sound doctrine that you can see with your own eyes and read from. Again, some of the some of the most faithful, I'm going to put it this way, some of the most faithful or the most faithful servants are all reading from the King James Bible. It is very important that you understand that and that you're reading from sound doctrine because yes, indeed, the word was changed. It has been changed in translation. It's very important that you understand that the sound doctrine, according to the instruction of the Lord, 
Yahushua HaMashiach has always been the King James Version. Please, seek knowledge. Seek wisdom. In Proverbs chapter 4, seek wisdom. She will not forsake you. She will crown you. I love you guys. God bless you. I'm praying for all of the body of Christ. I'm praying for all of my brothers and sisters. I love you so very much. And I don't want you to, I don't want to find yourselves in that web because it's popular. Right now, it's not a time to be popular. Please seek knowledge yourselves, seek wisdom with your own eyes and test everything that you hear. Test everything and seek the Lord directly. That has been the instruction from the beginning on this channel is for you to seek the Lord directly on everything that is received, whether by sight or by ears, seek the Lord directly. I love you guys. God bless you.